Good morning, crafting friends. This is Cheryl Ann, Deserts and Beyond. And I have another completed smaller journal um, to share with you today. This is one of the seven by six inch um, journals with a one and a half inch spine. Um, it's a soft cover with fabric on the front and back. It's very bright and cheerful. <laughs> These red, I don't know, they're not sunflowers. I'm not quite sure what they are. We have a flower we grow here called Tithonia, but it doesn't have that. I did put a little um, quote. This is from Mrs. Cog's garden um, notes. This is down the garden path. It's real kind of gardeny and flowery. I love the bee on the front. And she has a um, she has a seam binding closure that I lightly tea dyed. So let's take a look. She has all kinds of. Uh, Stuff sticking out all over top, sides. So there's a, a pocket in the front. I wanted to use another one of these flowers, and I put just a little, that's a little Tim Holtz tag. Oh, digitals are from, I'm going to, you know, I've lost the piece of paper. Of course, I believe it's Seneca Pond Crafts. There might be some Elsie Bill's bookshelf. Um, at this point, I'm going to have to go through my 27 pages of purchases because I just, I don't remember. I don't remember who this one is. That could be Artie Mays. It's terrible to get old. Um, I'm including a little notebook here because the colors went, they blended in so well. She's got all kinds of tucks and tags and pockets. Oh, the papers are either watercolor dyed or tea dyed. I don't use coffee anymore. It seems like, um, she has light stamping. It seems like too many people just don't really enjoy the smell, so... I don't use it. That's uh, Seneca Pond. She's got fabric on the edges of some pages. She's got a lot of different colored paper. There's pink and yellow and green and blue. And she's just very cheerful. I love this size because it is small enough. You can tuck it in your purse and go. It's another really pretty tag. I want to say Artie Mays, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and I'm including, this is a, a little bookmark I made, so that can hold your place when you're writing. Yeah, that's Mrs. Cox. I thought this photo, this is Pixabay. I thought the photo went really well with the colors there. Boy, the birds are quiet this morning. The, they all disappear around noon, but this isn't noon yet, so there must be another hawk around. Another little tuck spot. I love these quotes. Mrs. Coggs. And um, I'm doing my some of my little tuck spots on a diagonal like she does. There's a little tag. I have sugar snap peas and sweet peas coming up in the backyard. They're not close to each other, so they won't, they shouldn't cross pollinate. I have sunflowers that are blooming. I have the wild ones. I have hollyhocks that are growing. <coughs> so I just, here's between the first and second signature. Those are Seneca Pond, her beekeeper. Yeah, so we don't have any rain in the forecast, so I'm going out and watering by hand down the garden path. I like the little girl with her hat. 
thought that was cute. That's Mrs. Cobbs, too. Lots of room for writing or for keeping memories or adding things. I love this sheet music paper. It's a little thicker, so it's a little more sturdy. <coughs> Usings. Yes. Yeah, so there's there's no birds out front at all. We still have our Cooper's Hawk. Mama was back on the telephone pole in the back corner a while ago, so that's probably why they've all disappeared. Spring is a time of plans and projects. Yeah, if we don't get our stuff in <laughs> now, of course, we have a 365-day growing season here. I love this stamp, violets. Um, but I, I only got my sugar snap peas in this year for my vegetables, although I have some cabbages coming up on their own, and I have a couple tomato plants thanks to the birds. So I, I never really know what I'm going to have out back. That's a honey puddle. Hers are always so bright and cheerful. So that's one of hers. <clears throat> Just some light stamping. Oh, gorgeous. I have three more journal covers that I'm gluing. This is my short day. Green thumb, and she's out in the garden. That's Mrs. Coggs. I have to get the Miss Ellie. I have to pick her up. I have to leave about noon and go pick her up. And then we're going to the library to get library books. And then we sneak on over. There's a little um, there's a little cafe there where they have sandwiches and drinks and cookies. And every time we go there, she knows that she and Nana. We get to share a chocolate chip cookie. So she was, I was talking to her in the car with her mom on their way to school this morning. She goes, Nana, can we go to the library today? I'm like, yeah, I know which one you want to go to. We have actually one in our town and one in the next town. And the one in the next town is the super duper. It's really the nicest library I've ever seen. It's the Rancho Mirage Library. They even have an observatory there, and you can go in for tours. And that's Pixabay. She just this one just has all kinds of stuff tucked in. I love this ledger paper. It's so pretty. That's from Walmart. Here's a postcard with a little. Just a little spot for writing. There's a little tuck here at the end. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and I'm going to include one of the, the little lap. Um, this is heavy duty um, file folder so that if you want to put it behind the page where you're writing, it gives you a little extra support. I'm including one of these in every journal till I run out of them. And then in the back, there's a little Tim Holtz. Since we had a bee here, this is the insect one. And it's just, it's just some paper. So if you want to write down a grocery list or something like that, it's, it's in there and it tucks in just like that. And there's the B, and here's the back, and here's the front, and here's the top, and there's the side. So she's pretty yummy. She doesn't have alligator mouth. She she lies nicely, but so I didn't I didn't want to put her a great big um, closure. I mean, just this is just simple enough to keep her closed and tidy. So there she is. This is down the garden path. I will put her in my Etsy store, which is Deserts and Beyond. All one word. I'll put the link in the description and also in the comments. So come on over and take a look. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.